here is another problem, an example of one of the problems where we are going through our problem solving steps and we are maximizing area in this case. One of the classic problems. So, step one is always to draw a picture. So we have a picture here. The pen has three sections like this. It does not have to be any particular size. So we're going to need to deal with total area and total length and width. So the second step is always to find the um, uh, some variables. So one of the variables is our length, and I'm going to call that y, and the other is our width. I'm going to define that as x. So x width and y length. Third step is to build some equations from what we've got. So let's do one for the perimeter or the fencing. And so I've got th uh, one, two, three, four sections that are the length of the width. So 4x. And add that to the top and the bottom, the length 2y. And that equals our maximum amount of fencing available, 500 feet. Our second equation would be the total area. So all of the boxes put together. So that would be length times width, x times y. All right, step um, four is always to determine which is the important variable. Well, we are trying to maximize the area. So we're, we're looking for an equation um, in terms um, an equation of what the area equals in terms of the other variables. So we're going to move on to step uh, five, which would be to put these two equations together. So I'm going to rearrange this first one a little bit. I'm going to solve for y. So after subtracting 4x from both sides, we get 2y is equal to 500 minus 4x. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, giving us y is equal to 250 minus 2x. We need to remember to divide both parts by 2. So y is equivalent to 250 minus x. So I'm going to do some substitution, replacing the y with that expression, yielding our final merged equation where the area is x times 250 minus 2x. So we have a quadratic here. I could look at it also in the format of 250x when distributed minus 2x squared. So I can see it's a quadratic. It's going to it's a negative coefficient. So it's going to be a nice upside down parabola. So if I look at what that would look like, something like this. Now in its factored form here, if we apply what we know about the zero product property, um, x by itself here, if um, that is set equal to zero, that indicates that x is zero. If uh, 250 minus 2x is set equal to zero, we can solve for x and find that x is also possibly seven, uh, 175. So I know that the center here, the line of symmetry on this parabola, is at, at 62.5. So the input value for this is 62.5. And I can find the output by substituting that in for x. And so if I calculate that the area would be 250, I'm using this equation here, times um, 62.5 minus 2 times 62.5 quantity squared, we find an area of 7,000 
812.5. So that would be the output on this function. So that's our maximized area. The maximum area that can be enclosed would be 7,812.5 square feet, given that much fence in this configuration. Well, let's, uh, this can be done with graphing, um, so let's take a look on Desmos, what that graph would look like. Okay, so when we put the function that we came up with into Desmos here, x times 250 minus 2x, now either format is good, um, then we see a, a straight line again. So we need to adjust our, um, our domain and range so that we can see the maximum on here. So I'm going to... So I'm going to put uh, the x values going from 0 to uh, 175, and then the y values from 0 to 9,000, because I know that the area was past 7,000. So there we go. Now I see a pretty parabola, and I can find its maximum. And there we have it, verified that um, 62.5 is the x value and the value of the area or the output is 7812.5. Okay, so to the information that we've all been waiting for, what is the homework assignment? So I'd like you all to work on number 54 and number 66 in your text for homework. All right, good luck.